a Yorkshire airfield becomes a school for speed kings. Men with wings go back to the classrooms to study jets. Their average age 23, they've been hand-picked for an eight weeks course at a newly opened school at Driffield. Here, the pilots of a new age are introduced to their new charge, the jet engine. The world's fastest college prepares for the graduation of its first class. An important lesson in the curriculum is a thorough and detailed analysis of the engine that will become their life. Before the Driffield School opened, students would have graduated via Spitfires and Mosquitoes to the Meteors. Now, under the speeded up syllabus, they go from trainer planes straight to the jets. By this system, Britain, already holding a world lead in jet fighters, will soon attain another in jet pilots. Motto of the jet school is speed, in the air and on the ground. Aircraft take off and land every 60 seconds. Refueling breaks all established records. It takes each plane just over five minutes to fill up with 300 gallons of kerosene. Nine minutes after touching down, the meteor is serviced, refueled, and ready for another trip. For 10 mile a minute pilots, there can be no second thoughts. May West life jackets are their dress order. At their speeds, they are never more than 25 minutes from the sea, no matter what airfield they fly from in Britain. Their first trip is in a Meteor 7 with an instructor to get the feel of zooming along at 600 miles an hour. With the Meteor's flying time limited to 40 minutes, each plane must be clocked out at traffic control so that the pupil pilots can be warned when their time is up. Streaking through the air at four times the speed of a piston engine plane, the jet student pilots are making flying history. They are the men of tomorrow, the men who will hold Britain's first line of defence.